Hey guys and girls, when I'm out running around hunting and fishing on a Sunday afternoon or traveling, it's just all but impossible for me to remember about a Sunday afternoon chat. And I know I missed one or two here in the last three or four, it seems like. But uh, I'm in Missouri right now. We actually got up early this morning and left and drove to uh, to Missouri. I'm up near uh, La Plata, Missouri. We're going to do a little turkey hunting and fishing. I brought my tractor boat up here with me. And uh, they're supposed to have a few lakes up here. It's got some real good crappie in it. So we're going to try to do some crappie fishing uh, in the afternoon. It, it has been in Missouri that you had to quit hunting at 1 o'clock. Now, somebody told me that you can hunt all day now. I don't know if that's true or not. I'll find that out before I get out there tomorrow. But we're going to be able to hunt uh, a couple of days here in Missouri and then get back down home. We had the tornado hit on the Twin Eagle Ranch uh, uh, last night, and Chris and I were not there. Uh, some of you might have seen the videos that I did while I was driving up here today. Um, sulfur, sulfur. Oklahoma is just demolished. Uh, Sulphur is 10 miles north of us. Uh, it's where we go to church midway between Sulphur and, and uh, Davis, Oklahoma. Uh, half of the town, at least, has just been destroyed. It's gone. It's just absolutely, we've got friends that's lost businesses up there and in homes, and those people need a lot of prayers and a lot of support. But that's what happens in Oklahoma. We do have a, a lot of people be praying. A lot of people will support them. Um, I got a note from my buddy Joe Castiglione, athletic director at the University of Oklahoma, and uh, he said, well, as soon as we find out what we can do for the people in Sulphur, we'll be down there helping. That's just what we do here at Oklahoma University, and, and I know that for a fact. And uh, I've had uh, calls and texts uh, all day long from all over the United States, and uh, I thank each of you for thinking of us and caring about, for, for us. Uh, we were not there. Uh, I was at my daughter Sherry's house. I did go to Texas and uh, turkey hunt uh, Thursday and Friday with uh, my buddy Craig Whit. We had a great turkey hunt down there. Got some great video and took a really nice big giant gobbler and and, uh, and let a, a smaller gobbler go that was a, a, a long beard, but he just wasn't a big bird. He was a smaller bird and beautiful video. You'll be able to see the video. We'll post it up here pretty soon. I think we may have put some of it up already. I'm not really sure. But uh, but anyway, Chris, uh, I took her over to Sherry's, and uh, so we were not at the ranch when that happened. But uh, the tornadoes came right through the ranch, uh, right by the house. Uh, we have a, a tornado shelter built in one of our boat buildings out there that uh, that is bolted to the concrete. The building could leave, and the, and, the, and the tornado shelter would still be there. Apache went down and got in that, stayed in it until 4 a.m. this morning. Uh, two tornadoes came right by real close to the house and uh, tore my boat dock up, our, our boat dock, our floating dock. I don't know if the deck is the floating, uh, the deck boat dock, it's built on the poles. I don't know if that is tore up or not. It's uh, The water's way up and it's over it and I might, uh, might run my electronics on my Texas Hunter feeder down there. I may have to get me some new electronics but or maybe even a new feeder. That feeder's been there for several years. But... Um, but the floating boat dock looks like it's tore up pretty good. Uh, there did not have a boat in it. That's why I keep my, one of my trackers in there, the Tracker 175. But I had taken it out and uh, it's actually in my boat building. The boat buildings are all fine. We had several trees get tore down around the house and all over the ranch. And none of those trees fell on the house, not a single one. Apache said, it's amazing. They all fell away from the house. It didn't matter which side they were, they all fell away from the house. And uh, he said, just somebody was steering them away. And I said, that's God just keeping them from all on my house because we wasn't there. And uh, uh, so we got a lot of cleanup, a lot of work to do down there. The lake is flooded tremendously. The water is going over the emergency spillway and completely over my, my concrete spillway that you've seen. Uh, hopefully it doesn't wash out around that. I don't think that it will, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I haven't talked to Apache this evening, but uh, uh, he, we did uh, look at the other lake and it's come up some, but it's still not full. Uh, we got really... Uh, my. Preacher Chopper McCartney told me he had six inches of rain. We only got 2.9 there at the ranch, and that's quite a bit. We'd had two, three a couple of days ago, so that's over five inches this week. And hopefully the Grand Can Big Canyon Lake will fill up also. But we just got to keep praying and thinking about those people in Sulphur. So many people lost their businesses. So many people lost their houses. Um, and, and one fatality is all that I've heard of that's confirmed there. Uh, there's a, a few that they don't know how. I don't think they've accounted for quite everybody yet, but most everybody's accounted for. Uh, and a couple other fatalities there in Oklahoma as well. Uh, Mill Creek, uh, Dixon, all the little places all around us, just those tornadoes come sweeping through there. And Apache was in the tornado shelter, and he said it sounded like a freight train was coming down my driveway. Uh, and that's just how bad it was. And, uh, and two of them came by, not just one, but two of them. And uh, we were... 
watching them ourselves. Uh, I was stayed up till 1.30 last night. I told Apache at 1.30, you don't go out of that tornado shelter until everything's completely gone. But I said, I'm going to sleep. I was up at Sherry's and it didn't even start thunder and lightning and raining up there till three or four o'clock in the morning. And then I got up and left at six this morning. But, um, but it, it's just the, it's that time of the year. And um, you see all of these things happen in these tornadoes. And uh, we sort of in Oklahoma have got used to them. And uh, we respect them. We're not afraid of them. We, we, we get in safe places. And, and uh, we, we have very few fatalities anymore because our weather forecasting is so great and the radar is so great that, that it pins those tornadoes down and we know right exactly where they're going. And the people that's in the way are able to get in the tornado shelters or get in the basement or, or uh, get someplace where they are safe, a seat cover. And, and so everybody knows how to do that. And, and, uh, but they're devastating as far as property loss. It's just amazing. And people, it's just like you put a bomb inside the houses and blew them up. That's just exactly what it looks like there in Sulphur, Oklahoma. And uh, we just need to love on those people as much as we can. We need to pray for them as much as we can. And and um, there's going to be a lot more. It's starting to sprinkle here. And you look back behind me, it looks like we've got some weather coming in here. I think they got five inches of rain here last night. And it's starting to rain on me right now as I'm speaking. And uh, I don't know if I can get in a building or something over here. Uh, got a bunch of my friends off over there. Hey, they got a turkey that they got this afternoon or this morning. I'm not sure where, when. But uh, but in, anyway, I'll just uh, try to make it move that thing away from the away from the uh, where it's not raining. It's just sprinkling's all it's done right now, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. But uh, but we had a great week other than that. Like I said, we went to Texas and uh, drove out there on a uh, on a Wednesday, hunted Thursday and Friday, hunted Friday to 2.30. And uh, Friday we heard two gobbles and that's all. So it was a, it was a long, long day. We fished, we hunted from before daylight until 2.30 and uh, then drove back home and, and then uh, went over to Chris's on Saturday. And so we, we missed the tornado, which, which is a, probably a pretty, pretty good deal that uh, wasn't there because it's a scary thing. Apache said that all he was doing was praying the whole time he was in the tornado shelter. But he said he could hear things getting hitting that building and land, limbs and brushes and things being thrown against the building when the tornadoes came by. And he said he was really scared, really scared. But, uh, but uh, thankfully, uh, there was a lot of property tore up, a lot of houses, a lot of businesses, particularly in Sulphur, Oklahoma. A great, great little town that, that I've called home now for the last 21 years. And we still live on Lake Tenkiller. We still have a house there and we consider that home as well. And only three places I've lived in my life, except when I was a baby and my dad was a, in the Air Force. Uh, and uh, where I was born down in Texas, but I, I lived in up there in the Oklahoma Cleveland County line, more Oklahoma until I was a senior in high school in Tahlequah until the 21 years ago when we bought that place down at the ranch and then down at the ranch, the only three places I live. And I could still consider all three of them home, especially Lake Tenkiller and, and obviously Twin Eagle Ranch. But I uh, appreciate all of y'all that have checked in and, and, and commented and, and checked on us and so many telephone calls and texts. We've been getting them all day long and I've done, done my best to answer all of them. If I didn't get uh, your text or your phone call, I appreciate you calling and checking on us. So many, so many friends doing that. And uh, we are just now getting into the tornado season in Oklahoma and Texas and all over the south. And uh, Nebraska, they had a couple days ago, they had some terrible, terrible tornadoes up there. So... Uh, we just need to all uh, be careful. We need to all take cover when they tell us there's one of them twisters coming our way. We all need to make sure that we're right with God uh, because we never know when one of them bad boys is gonna get us. And uh, so we wanna make sure, we wanna make sure that uh, we're right with God. And uh, guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. Uh, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna hunt up here for a couple of days. Hopefully we'll have you see some Missouri turkeys on video and hopefully some Missouri crappie as well. And remember, I sure do love you.